What's going on guys? Welcome back and thank you for tuning in once again. You guys have been asking for it, so we deliver with a B9 installation video. What are we doing today? Well, we got the good old ethanol sensor install because guess what? We're doing some E85 tuning and I need to show you guys the data, make sure we're running actual E85. So let's jump into this video and show you how to install it. All right guys, here's the tools we're gonna need today. The biggest thing you need to note is I'm using these hose clamp, they're fuel hose clamps. Um, the other ones seem to back out on my B8.5. It did back out every like three months. We have these adapters on the ethanol sensor. Here's the part number, just in case you wanna order them up yourself. Other than that, we have some wire shielding, shrink tube, plastic trim removal tool to get to the P3 gauge. We have terminals, electrical tape, and we got some wire. Obviously, we're also gonna need a metal hanger to get through the car to send the wires through the firewall. Obviously, we have our tools to crimp, remove the shielding, et cetera, et cetera. So on that, guys, let's show you how to install this thing. All right, I know you're pretty intimidated by wiring, but this is very straightforward, so let's go over it. On the ethanol sensor itself, we have power, we have ground, we have your five volt signal wire, which sends the signal to the P3. Actually, it sends it to this, which then gets sent to the P3. So now, obviously, black is your ground, which you're gonna connect with that other, your ethanol sensor. White is the signal, and then we have red is your power. What does that leave? Well, we have a blue and a brown wire. These are the same exact colors that you're gonna hook to your P3 gauge. Your P3 gauge has these. I'll show you later in the video. We'll go hook them up. So right now, what you're gonna do we're gonna cut that hose, and we're gonna install the ethanol sensor, and we're gonna wire it into the car. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this hose has fuel pressure. You can relieve it right here. You can just cut it. I'm just gonna cut it, and I'm gonna wrap it up while I cut it. I'm going for the dead center right here, so here we go. Make sure you have some sharp snips. These aren't doing the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip tie it to the AC line right here. So this is what I'm shooting for right here. Let me see what I can do. Go ahead and tighten these up. Okay, they're nice and tight. Nothing too crazy. Right now, let's worry about the sensor harness. All right, guys, I have the hook to a gun, make it a little easier. I like to tie them up, so I'm just gonna go like this. This is black, this is brown. My brown is going to be my red wire. This is all I had, so. All right, guys, look. When you're installing these, you see that? It fits really nice. If you do it this long, come on. Well, if it goes in, all right, look at that. It's not on the wire, so you need to clip it back to that size. For reference, Once you guys do that, do a test, pull it. It should hold. All right, on to the next. So you guys know, the terminal connectors, they have glue inside there. So I'm doing a double protection here. Um, these are the best terminals. I would highly recommend them. So just right over there. Look at that fit, perfect. Beautiful. Last but not least, 
There we go. Cool. All right. Just note on this job, you have to have a gold lighter. It won't work with any other lighter. All right, guys, it's time to hide the wires. I know you guys want a clean install. So I'm gonna follow it. I'm also gonna wrap this up, but uh, let's go ahead and take this off here, just for the time being. All right, well, coming here, we're going to do that. So that sneaks in right there. We're gonna do the same thing. All right guys, so see the nub right here? We're gonna cut that back. We're gonna run this through there, right there. All right, so take a razor. I'm just gonna cut this off right here. Beautiful. You guys can see I have a metal wire. Let's show them how, how we do it. All right guys, before I feed it right there, I'm gonna go till it stops. All right, let's go inside the car. Let's go check it out. All right guys, trim removal tool. All right guys, we have five eight millimeters. One's right here. Get two under here. And we got two more in here. All right, I hate this part. We're gonna yank down. Just like that. All right guys, you can see, I have now grabbed onto the wire here. I want you to know, you don't need to remove anything down here. Down, you see where my hand is? Up here is a hole where you can reach back there. Right under here. I know you can't see with the camera angle. Again, right here. So, all right guys. <clears throat> So you see here, we got this blue wire. We're gonna connect these two together. And then this, this, is, this looks green, but it's supposed to be brown. It's brown, this is brown, and this is brown. The, this had a five volt um, piece of paper on it. And this had a five volt paper on it. This says dimmer. This is not, you're not connecting anything to this. So simple as connecting the two blue together. Again, you guys can use terminals if you wish. I'm just gonna shrink wrap it. It's gonna be inside tucked away. This other one here, this green brown one. So here's our ethanol sensor voltage adapter. Blue to blue, brown to brown. This is a darker color, kind of looks reddish to me. I don't know, but you guys can see those two together. All right, so now we're done with that. Let's move on to the good stuff. So now, here's my OBD2 connector here. I, did, I tapped in, I cut, I spliced in the harness because I know red's power, black is ground. So now what I have here is the other side of the harness. It used to be like this. I'm just tapping into it. So, and now I have my outside wires. As you guys know, white is going to white. Black is going to black. And then this is whatever color you wanted it to be. It could be red, I mean, you know what I mean. So I have it this color, this is my power wire. So, I'm gonna hook this up right away so we don't get confused here. I'm tapping into power here. Grab your shrink wrap. All right, that right there. Next up, ground side here.
and white to white. Very simple, pretty straightforward here, guys. All you got is power, ground, and the white is the five volts, which is coming in from the car. You got blue to blue and brown to brown. Perfect. All right, it's time to shrink wrap stuff. All righty, well, all right guys, now it's time to plug the sensor back in here. All right, before I get away and get crazy with it, plug in OBD2. Got power and ground. All right, what's uh? All right, the car has to be started here. Ethanol content, analog input, brown wire on main harness. That's what we're doing. Hold both buttons on the gauge until you see CNF. Tap to the right until you see A1N. A1N. Tap the left button until you see EC. EC, hold the right button until the screen goes blank. This saves and exits to the menu. All right, what do we got here? Ethanol. Woo, jeez. Check it out, boys. We're not even running E85, so we need to fill some E85 in the tank here. Make sure we got the good fuel in there. Um, this is my first tank at E85, so I probably didn't have everything out of the tank. Now you guys see everything's functioning. Let's clean this up and get it all back together. All right, guys, I don't know. This is a popular trend when doing this sensor install. Obviously, we're gonna clean it up, but they uh, say you should just do like this. All right, I don't have much electrical tape here, but I'm gonna try to clean this up here the best I can, because it's, uh, it's quite a mess. Kind of, kind of bend whatever bends together here. It's like a good blob. Now I'd wrap this whole harness, but this is all the electrical tape I have. So I'm not gonna splurge. All right, that's gonna do it there. All right, next up. All right, so I got some double-sided 3M tape here. Stick it right on the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna stick it on top of this. All right, get it right up top there. Stick it down, all right. And that's why I went with the extension here, because I just run it right here, right up to here. Nice and secretive. You don't see it too much. See that? Professional, clean. Push it down a couple more times. All right, I think we're all good to um, put the bottom portion back now. Everything's pretty nice. Guys, note when you're doing this install, go up there with a the flashlight and look to make sure the holes are lining up. You cross thread one of these, it's not gonna be a good day. Your friend is a magnetic bit here. See it's magnetic, makes it a lot easier. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way, just get a start on it. Cool, back to factory. Now clean up your mess. Let's go hit the dyno. All right guys, it's time to wrap the wire, make it look professional. All 
All right, before I finish this off, I'm gonna hot glue this right here so we don't have water intrusion. All right, guys, so I have it all glued up. Now it's time to finalize the wiring harness. So go ahead and plug this back up here. Ethanol sensor is connected up. All right guys, you see that AC line right there? I zip tied to that. Look at how firm that is. Nice and sturdy here. Um, the only thing I can see is possibly hitting the side of this. Um, it takes a lot of movement, so if the engine stays sturdy, we shouldn't see any issues. It's on. So, not bad. I'm gonna do one more zip tie. Well, let's get this outro done with. But right, before I do, you guys don't forget to put this back here. All right guys, that was the ethanol sensor install for your P3 gauge. Wasn't too crazy and not too expensive. I hope this video helped you with the wiring and all sorts of other stuff you're wondering about installing this P3 gauge. So comment down below, let me know if you have questions. I'm here to help and like always, stay BDT tuned.